Hey guys, today we're trying to compress the four years of competitive programming that I did in less than four minutes. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the first step always is understanding the language and I started with C++ and C++ usually goes like this. Understand this boilerplate code and copy paste this whenever you start. Start with your hello world program. Hello world programs are usually the first step to competitive programming. So you write printf hello world, you compile your program and you run it and you see hello world on the screen. Whatever change you make over here, you can see over there as well. Understand the basic variables that exist in C++, integers, doubles and strings. Try to print these to the screen. Yup, there you go. As you can see, I've printed all three variables to the screen. Why are these called variables? Because you can change the value of these as your program executes. So let's change this from hi to hello. And what you see finally on the console is hello. This is followed by arrays, which are nothing but an aggregation of all the data types that you saw earlier, which is followed by functions, which is nothing but abstracting the things that you want to do. This much is usually enough to get started on a competitive programming website. So the next step usually is that you open either Spodge, CodeChef, CodeForces, any one of those, sign up and solve your first problem. However, uh, from what I've realized, the first problem is actually the toughest one because you don't understand what are inputs, what are outputs, and what is this test case thingy. Think of it simply this way. Inputs are inputs that your program needs to take in. Outputs are something that your program will produce on those inputs, and test cases are a bunch of cases on which your outputs will be evaluated. Solve the life, universe, and everything problem on Spodge and get your first AC. And this is where your online competitive programming journey starts. Solve a bunch of problems over the next few weeks, but quickly realize that arrays is not the only data structure that you'll need in this journey. Read about trees. Understand that trees are nothing but a graph with n-1 edges. Understand what are graphs. Relate these to the graphs that you've seen during your childhood and start coding these in C++. Read about vectors in C++ which are nothing but dynamic arrays and start implementing graphs using these. Learn the basic graph traversal algorithms like BFS, DFS and Digextra. It is around this time that you should start taking part in online competitions on platforms like CodeChef and CodeForces. Have your fair share of highs and lows during these competitions, but learn a lot and especially upsolve all the problems that you're not able to solve during the contest. Learn about this thing called ACMI CPC and pair up with the best coders around you and create a team for it. Irrespective of whether or not you're able to make it to the regionals or to the world finals, this will be a great journey that you'll cherish later on. Get back from the regionals and realize that you need to level up your game and hence need to spend some time on some really high level data structures. Get into dynamic programming, solve a bunch of problems using arrays, 2D arrays and finally get down to DP on trees. Start with computational geometry, some advanced concepts in graphs, bi-connected components, minimum spanning trees, Floyd washers, followed by things like segment trees, BIT and see your rating on code forces blow up eventually. Try to reach the purple level, around which you'll start to feel a saturation in terms of your learning. Realize that your placement interviews are right around the corner, so move from a platform like Codeforces to a platform like geeks for geeks Start cramming the algorithms that you loved to understand before. Fake during your interview that this is the first time that you're seeing this algorithm. Implement it, get a job, and never use competitive programming again in your life. Now, I haven't been doing a lot of competitive programming for a while now, but I have to say that a few years into competitive programming, your abilities to think logically improve a lot. I have to say that somewhere or the other, my years in competitive programming did help me crack a job. So if you're a beginner and thinking whether or not you should start doing competitive programming, I strongly suggest that you do. We'll be starting the lecture series on competitive programming in C++ very soon on this channel. So if you're looking out for that, let us know in the comments down below. And do consider subscribing. We'll make more such content in the future.